The sweet spot has been made larger. It feels really, really fast, really, really explosive. Not massive gains here, but you're not going to find many more user-friendly options. Hello everybody, Joel Tabman here from Golf Monthly, and in this video I'm going to be testing out the brand new tailor-made SIM2 Max and SIM2 Max OS irons. These are game improvement clubs designed for maximum distance and forgiveness, but I'm going to see exactly how these irons perform and how they not only compare with each other, but how they compare with the outgoing SIM Max and SIM Max OS. So I'm really excited to give these irons a try. Let's see how they perform. So what have TaylorMade done with the technology of these irons to really move it on from what we saw before? Well, you'll notice they've done away with the speed bridge and replaced it with this capped back design. So essentially, this polymer cap that kind of sits on the back of the head and encloses the entire cavity, and that supports the entire length of the top line now. So you're gonna get a faster face there in combination with the speed pocket, a bit more distance, especially on those slight offset hits. And, and basically the sweet spot has been made larger, lower on the face. So if you catch the ball slightly thin, which we all do sometimes, especially if you're a game improver, you should get more consistent results uh, from those iron shots. The other thing to talk about is that the inverted cone technology on these irons has been made more draw bias. So these, if you're a struggle with the slice, um, along with some other changes we'll talk about a bit later in this video, these irons should be um, good at producing a more neutral ball flight. So that's the technology. Let's take them out to the golf course, hit some shots with it, see how they look, see how they fly, see how they perform, and see how they compare to each other and the outgoing sim irons. So I've already hit some shots with these clubs and I'm just going to touch on the looks of both the irons. So Sim 2 Max, Sim 2 Max OS. Sim 2 is the slightly smaller of the two heads and while you know it still clearly looks like a game improvement club because it's got quite a thick top line actually, one of the thickest top lines I've seen, it definitely has a slightly more compact profile than the Sim 2 Max OS which has more offset, it's actually 1.5 mil more offset than the Sim 2 Max iron so, and it does look a bit larger behind the ball so if you're looking for maximum help on your iron shots the Sim 2 Max OS is definitely the way to go. I prefer the slightly slimmed down version of the Sim 2 but it's not overly slim by no means. So let's hit some shots, we've got a flag out there about 185 yards away which is a long way but you know these irons are long as we will touch on very shortly with the launch one of the data leaking a little right but it feels really really fast really really explosive off the face as you would expect from a game improvement club um, but i wouldn't say it feels necessarily hard or clicky i actually feel like the feel there was quite soft, surprisingly. You know, it wasn't overly loud, I wouldn't say. And let's see if that's the case with the TaylorMade Sim 2 Max OS. God, that feels even hotter. Unsurprisingly, it's gone a bit left with the offset there. Um, but that was a much better hit. And there's no question, Sim 2 Max OS is incredibly easy to hit. Um, both are, but this one in particular really, really does get the ball up in the air effortlessly. Let's hit some more shots and then we'll come on to the launch one of the data and then a verdict at the end. That's all over it. Right, okay, so let's touch briefly on the uh, launch one of the data we got from the Foresight Sports GC Quad with the new SIM2 irons. Now, worth noting that the SIM2 Max iron is the same loft as it was before, so 28 and a half degrees in the seven iron, whereas the SIM2 Max OS iron has been strengthened by half a degree to 26 and a half degrees. So one of the strongest seven irons you can get on the market. And I'll flash the data up on the screen now. You can see how they compare to each other and the old models, and you notice you know, there isn't a great deal of difference in the numbers, but you know, I was definitely getting more ball speed out of the Sim 2 Max compared to the Sim Max iron. It didn't necessarily translate into a whole lot of extra distance, um, but it's definitely um, carrying a little bit further, two yards further on average, but spin is very similar, peak height is very similar. Definitely noticed it was a lower ball flight than the Sim 2 Max OS testing here on the golf course, um, but some gains in distance nonetheless. And the Sim 2 Max OS actually was quite similar to the outgoing Sim Max OS in terms of ball speed. 
and launch angle. Uh, spin was definitely a lot lower. That's definitely one thing I would notice. Um, the Sim 2 Max offering that lower spin, possibly down to the slight strength of the lofts, which is also contributing to, to a very slight reduction in peak height but then a fraction more distance, uh, 182 yards versus 181. So indoor testing, you know, control environment numbers wise, it would appear you're not getting a whole lot of increase in performance from the SIM 2 irons. Okay, so SIM 2 Max and SIM 2 Max OS irons tested really, really thoroughly, really enjoyed hitting these clubs. And while on the face of it, you might think you're not getting masses of improvements in performance, certainly the launch monitor was suggest that you know only very very marginal gains in carry distance from generation to generation but i think actually there are wider improvements to be experienced with these clubs um, definitely in terms of the feel and sound so these clubs feel and sound much more like a cavity back iron or maybe even closer to a forged club maybe not quite a muscle back but definitely the sound has, has been quietened down here it feels really solid and stable without offering that harsh clicky sound of the face i think golfers will really appreciate that and you've got two distinct options here in that game improvement sector if you're a mid-high handicap um, in terms of the looks, the visuals, and also the, the distance they offer. You know, I was expecting Sim 2 Max OS to go a bit further than the Sim 2 I, and actually the two in terms of that distance was very similar, but they do it in slightly different ways in terms of that ball flight and also the way they look behind the ball. There's no question the Sim 2 Max OS is gonna deliver more draw bias for you. Um, and generally the, the irons produce a really, really stable flight. I didn't feel like it was curving offline as much as I was expecting. And if you can get your club face squaring up relatively consistently, the fact that the sweet spot is a lot larger means you're gonna get away with an awful lot more. And I think, you know, in terms of irons being easy to hit, you're not gonna find many more user-friendly options than the TaylorMade Sim 2 and the Sim 2 Max OS. So two really good options if you're looking for as much help as you can on your iron shots in terms of generating that distance and forgiveness. So definitely two irons to try when they hit the shelves in February, coming in at 899 pounds for a set represents pretty good value for money in the ever expanding prices of irons these days. Give them a try. I think you'll really be impressed with the consistency and the distance you can experience. So hopefully this video has given you a really good idea about what these irons are all about in terms of how they fly, how they perform and how they feel and, and move on the performance from what we saw last year. But that's all for me from Burley Park Golf Club. I'll see you next time.